welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacob and in this video I thought I'd uh, bring to you what I saw on the weekend. I went to the uh, Capel Militaria show, Capel Tank show. I'm not exactly sure what its name is but the, the name of the town was uh, Capel and um, so I took some pictures and I took some video and the first bit of this video will be just some pictures of the vehicles they had there and at the end there's some video of uh, the vehicles driving around. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, here it is. Two sticks in front of you called tillers. To pull back the left, to go left, pull back the right, you go right. So um, we'll talk about some other stuff in a minute, but I'll pull him up, I'll get him to do a neutral turn, um, and you'll see what it's all about. So come down the front of the arena down. Now, the last one was a CVRT, this is a CVRT. Uh, it's a Civil Defence Vehicle. Uh, it's got the Civil Defence Vehicle number plate on it. Uh, the number plate is a number 1111. Because they were insanely top heavy. So when they were doing top country, they did get uh, tickets uh, over, I think, 12 or 15 ring gun carrier. So it's used for a common sense, and also tank commanders used to have them as well. I'm going to hand the mic over to Mike, and he's going to talk all about it. Sorry, what we say? Uh, it's a Canadian uh, Mark II star universal carrier in March 1944. Uh, Ford, Fathead, 8, 3.9 litre, Yeah, very true. And that, uh, a nickname they used to be called them puddle dumpers. Uh, but the, instead of having two sticks, it's actually got a steering wheel. But because it's got metal tracks, um, when you drive these on the road, when you go around roundabouts, if you go around too quick, you'll end up spinning in circles. Because the way these steer is, they actually twist the track. Uh, and bend the track rather than actually breaking the track on one side. And, uh, so there were different characters, uh, American ones, British ones, Canadian ones, uh, the more famous T-16 Canadian character, which is a little bit bigger, but uh, just did the same job. Uh, it's got a steering wheel, but it's got a steering wheel. I just want to talk about the dingo. As soon as the big tanks have gone past. <laughs> On the wrong side, I'll push them the other side. <laughs> so, so this is the Dame of Dingo. And so again, this was a scout car. So when it comes round, this you'll, you'll see the brain gun poking out the front. Now again, this basically did the same job as the Fox. So if you imagine this was the first tool for idea they built it, then it got developed into the ferret, which is uh, flying around. 